Here with me, Tammy Harrell. She's the Chief of Audiology. And I have Davide Delena. He's the Head of Marketing for Nuance Hearing SLR Luxottica. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Andy. Thank you Great. to you, Andrew. I'd like to understand first, because you're not a hearing company, how did this project come about? What was the initial impetus for developing hearing aids in any form, let alone in glasses form? Well, uh, this is uh, coming from a long time. There is uh, a vision already from a few years into opportunity to converge vision hearing industry. This for better serving consumer. There is a strong overlap in the need of consumer, especially after the 50, which has hearing impairment and need of vision correction. So we do believe that there is a strong opportunity to serve better customer in the need. We are targeting uh, people with mild to moderate hearing loss. So basically we know that in the world there are 1.6 billion people with hearing impairment. Out of this 1.6 billion, which is the current picture, there are 400 million which has a moderate to profound to severe hearing loss, which are the actual target of traditional hearing aids. There are 1.2 billion people with mild to moderate hearing loss, which has no solution today. And this is our main target. Those people are not approaching the category for a number of reasons. For stigma, for price, for comfort reason. And we do think we have a solution to solve this problem for those consumers. So characterize the kind of consumer with hearing loss who would choose glasses over earbuds or behind the ear style, traditional form factors. Well, as an audiologist, it is very uh, difficult to have someone coming in the clinic with mild hearing loss and have him go out with, with a set of hearing aids. Uh, because of the reason that, that David is saying, mostly stigma, unfortunately. Um, we tackle uh, both stigma and comfort because we have a, a completely different form factor of, of hearing aid because this is the hearing aid. As you see, nothing comes, come, goes in the ears. Uh, it's completely invisible. And because of a specialized technology, it's called beamforming, that is able to capture the sound in front of you, we also uh, answer for the need of better function in noisy situation. We at Nuance Hearing started to develop a um, array of microphones, a table microphone, for example, uh, that is able to direct specifically this function. When SLO Luxotica reached out, we essentially took this array of microphone, embedded it on on the glasses to create the best directional um, experience that you can have. And so clearly speech and noise was one target use case for these glasses and I know from my trial in July that it worked exceptionally well even though my hearing loss is outside the range that the glasses are meant to serve. What other use cases are you aiming at? Well, uh, of course, speech and noise is the main use case so actually uh, the main uh, problem and a lot of people in the mild to moderate eating loss says is the cocktail party effect so this is the main use case but there are other main case like a work environment some some time in a work environment even not so noise allowed you cannot really understanding all the word of your colleague in a meeting and other use cases for example when you are speaking in not in your own language and so you need to focus really to get uh, exactly the word and, uh, and the meaning of the, of, of, of the other people. And I must also say that you don't have to have hearing, uh, hearing loss. Okay, you can be someone with normal hearing having challenges in noisy situation. So the glasses provide the best solution for that because you can do it seamlessly whenever you feel that you need, that you need some help or you, or you are experiencing some effort that you have to put in. You can relax and you can use it and let the glasses do your uh, best signal noise ratio, signal to noise ratio for you. Well, you two made a couple of really important points, I think. Uh, first off, uh, the hidden hearing loss. Yeah. I mean, the National Acoustics Labs, just in the United States, identified 25 million people who don't measure as having hearing loss, but they struggle yeah. to hear, typically a noise. Yeah. And so these glasses could serve better than hearing aids because of the directional microphones. Uh, and you brought, you brought up the work environment. I've talked about this before uh, in the run-up to me getting my own. You know, when I started in the hearing uh, industry a dozen years ago, I didn't realize that six years after that I would be a customer. But what I realized, I was going to China all the time and talking to a lot of people who were speaking English, you know, with different accents and, and various levels of English proficiency, and I'm yeah. struggling to understand them. 
and I would do, say, a two-week trip in China, and I would be dead tired. First time I went to China after wearing my hearing aids, I had twice the energy. And I think that's a critical point for Absolutely. people who are Absolutely. on the fence about getting a hearing device. I think uh, you got exactly the point, Andrew, and I think uh, our aim is to reduce listening fatigue. So potentially there is application also for normal hearing people. When you have an intense day of work and then you have social life at night in a busy restaurant, you want, you know, some superpower. And I think these kind of glasses are giving you some superpower. That's our mission, to improve quality of life for millions of people, bringing hearing, a better hearing, to millions of people in the world.